What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. I have a fiddler farm here that I want to show you guys how to make. If you have problems finding fiddler crabs this time of year when it's winter time and it's cold and the bait shops don't have them, I can show you how to keep them long term. Well here's what we got and this is two months in. As you can see we have a whole bunch of fiddler crabs in here. See these guys right over here? But I've had this thing going for two months now, and it's been a success. And so far, so good, we've had crabs to go sheep's head fishing. But tune into the rest of this video. I'm gonna show you how to make this and make it for under about 50 bucks, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, let's show you here what I've got. I went down to the bay today to get a bucket of sand. See this right here, it's just some sand right straight from the bay. A bucket full of salt water. We have a bin here, a plastic bin from Lowe's. This is about $15. And I got this cheap little light for five bucks. This is to keep them warm. And then most important, I've got the leftover fiddler crabs that I had when I went fishing the other day. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble this thing. Okay, to start here, I'm gonna start shoveling some of the sand here in this bin, like so. Don't dump it on the table like I just did. All right. The goal is you want to get them something to make burrows in. But this creates a good habitat for them. And also in this sand, there's nutrients and other kind of things that they eat, you know, mites or whatever else is kind of matter that's in the sand that they live in. I'm just going to fill this up. And one other thing I got, you know, fiddler crabs, they live near the water. So to give them some water in their habitat, I've got this little painter's tray. Get this at Lowe's, this is like 50 cent. But I'm gonna fill the sand around it. This is gonna give me a spot to put water in so that way they can get water and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna get back to you guys when I get this thing filled up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right guys, this is what it looks like filled up. And as you can see, I took that painter's tray and set it flush with the ground. So basically I built this area up with the sand and the tray is sitting down in the ground flush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some salt water in that tray. So that way they have some salt water access, you know, because that's their normal habitat. They live around the salt brackish water. So we're going to build that up and then I will show you what that looks like when that is all said and done. Okay, so what I did, you'll see inside that tray I got some rocks, you know, because that's such a, it's a steep drop off and to say if the water evaporates, I don't want to drown any of the crabs. So I put some rocks in there so they can climb up and get out. But we're going to go ahead and fill this up. I'm just going to scoop and dump that in there like so. But this is uh, brackish water. It was out of the bay. In the area I got this water, there were fiddler crabs actually running wild out there. So this should be just what they need. But just like that, I'm going to fill that up. Okay, and also you'll see I've got a bucket here. I've got a bunch of excess water. This water in time will evaporate, so you're gonna to have to change that out. So every couple of weeks or so when that water gets nasty and cloudy and it starts to smell funny or whatever it is, I'll just take it and dump it out. That's what I keep this bucket of extra water for and then just refill it up and then go from there. So let's go ahead and add the crabs to it. Okay, so, and these are left over from when I went fishing the other day. Normally I'd take the crabs, I'd dump them loose, but see now I don't have to do so. And they are already seeming to like their little habitat so far. But one thing they do is they like cover and they like to be able to hide from things. And some of the stuff that I've used before is cardboard. So I've got a couple of boxes here and just tear off pieces like so. And just put a few pieces of this in here and they will get under that and they will hide out. OK, 
Okay, so don't want to go crazy with it, but we're going to put a few pieces like that in there, like so. Just so it looks like that maybe that's one too many pieces. So we'll just do this right here. And over time, this cardboard will get nasty. You can just take it out, you know, change it out and go from there. Something else to think about. This is inside my garage. It doesn't get too cold in here in the wintertime, but when it does get cold, these crabs, they don't like it and the cold will kill them. So one of the things that I've done, got this little light here, Lowe's Home Depot, six bucks right here. And also you get one of these plant lights. Like, so this is a 65 watt bulb. Just take the bulb and just put it in the light. The light's rated for a 75, so this is good. It's got a clamp. You can clamp it to the side of your habitat here. Or like what I do is I get a stand like so. And I'll just set it up just to kind of give it some space. So just raise this thing up like so and then clamp it off to that. And it gives them a little bit more space because you don't want that light right on top of them. You don't want to cook them. There we go. So that's how that looks like right there. Let me just go and plug it in, get some power, and see what it looks like. And so just like that. And this will put out just enough heat and it'll keep them warm. All right. And they talk about food, because we're gonna have to feed these guys. Fish flakes. So I go to Walmart and you can get a thing of fish flakes like this right here, and just sprinkle this throughout the habitat they will eat this and they will be happy and content and they will live for a while you know so my plan is is when i go fishing while fiddler crabs are in the stores I, what i'll do is i'll just go buy two or three dozen like i normally do and then when i'm done with fishing if whatever's left over i'll take them and put them in here and then when the stores go empty then you know i have got bait for the rest of the season and one thing to check out over here look at these dudes over here they're already starting to bury in the corners over here You'll see a lot of these guys will make little holes out here and they'll, and they'll be content and happy. So, but that's what I've got. This is how I keep my fiddler crabs alive. So I've got bait throughout the whole season and it's just, it's just a good way of going about doing it. So, all right, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like the channel, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll get back to fishing next time. Thanks for watching. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. If Facebook's your thing, head on over to the Gilman Fishing Facebook page and hit the follow button. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.